what is with beatboxing and these like super demonic sounds? Holy crap. <laughs> I love his Edward. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Reap's one is so he's so exact. He's so precise, it's ridiculous. This is so nutty. I Reap's one is actually is really one of my favorite technical beatboxers. His precision and his his like efficiency. Because of course, of course, I the vocal nerd would be like, oh, I love how ergonomic it is. <laughs> but you know, I do. <laughs> so anyway. Even if in this group of professional beatboxers, you can really see why Dilo's on the top. It's incredible because, like, you know, look at the distance of the mic. It's reasonably far away. Did Reap's one have that same situation? Where was the mic distance there? Let's see. Okay, it's pretty far when it comes to Reeves, but I th it looks like Dilo has the same distance. The reason I bring that up is because, like, the volume that Dilo is able to get here is pretty outstanding. It's like mic or no mic, it's extremely, it still hits hard and it's still precise and it's still very, very clear and audible, which is very impressive. <laughs> Plus, we got Pulsate on the mix. Yeah. Yeah, that'll definitely help. I love Bass Ventura. He's sort of drunk in this video, but... Uh -huh. I don't know what this guy was doing, but... <laughs> That's Pono. <laughs> that was in time. Yeah. Let's go! That's awesome. Man. There, 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 there are so many beatbox videos where there's like, in like Alexino vs. Soso, Seven to Smoke, there's like a glass that breaks on, on time. That's funny. Like, right as he goes for a break in the beat, there's like a, a bottle clanking around. Yeah. And one, one of the things I'm envious of. Things like that is for like and Shazam and, and Sin have this scenario where like like they can like get together and like beatbox with people but I can't do that cuz like I don't have friends so <laughs> you know anyway big oof yeah big oof press f in the chat like god vibration yeah. so nasty it's hard to hear the subs because it's he's so far away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From the mic. Ooh. Ooh. 
Where is he? He's just like... <laughs> That's so they're all just freestyling. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. Decoy. Yeah. Wow. Founder of Beatbox Community. Wow. wow. <laughs> oh my god. Deco grows crazy in this circle gym. Oh, that combo. Oh my god. Man, I thought my TKs were like really good. <laughs> nope. Oh my god. <laughs> what kind of maniac uses throat bass as a riser? That's just ridiculous. That's silly. Oh my god. God. It's so beefy even that distance away. That's so nutty. Pull a gimme laughing a minute to find the orcs. And that high tongue bass. Yeah. <laughs> now we bang back to the pono. That's a nice handoff. What? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, little bird trips. Come on. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry, this stuff belongs on, like, National Geographic, because, like, the amount of noises we're getting is just beastly. It's ridiculous. A, a wild beatboxer has appeared. Yo, this man, this man doesn't even need someone to hold his beer, okay? I can, I can, I barely can make full sentences because I'm old, I get hung over when I have like one or two, okay? And this man's like, eh, I got this, but I'm still going to hold my beer because I'm a man and I don't endorse alcoholism. So, but anyway, not that this.
I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stop talking. Get <laughs> him <laughs> back. He screwed up, but made it in some. Yeah. I mean, they're not like in competition. They're just screwing around. It'd be unfair to hold them to that. That's so. <laughs> Beatboxing and these like super demonic sounds. Holy crap! Uh. Remix has so much potential. Yeah. I have not. This guy? From Azerbaijan. building things around it. Yeah. It's nice to tie it around a consistent theme like that. It makes it far more like it's a more musical decision. It's easier to follow. Yep. Nice. Oh taking triplets from the last routine. I love when they tie it into the previous person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm. 
Really cool syncopation. Oh my god. The zippers. His soundscape is really just so diverse. And it's, but it's also exact, you know what I mean? It's, everything is so clean. <laughs> oh, yeah. Imagine D-Lo freaking out at your beat. Nice. <laughs> I love his squish as he comes up to your game. <laughs> Context, this is the pony president in a oh, Swiss beatbox. Okay, yeah. He doesn't really beatbox. But... Yeah, Yeah. Nice. Oh. Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, like, P like, Paponi's ability to to do what he's done and help the community is insane, and that skill set is incredibly hard to find. Is there's a there's a lot of there's a balancing act that has to be accomplished that and I don't think people appreciate that. I don't think I would have until I was in our administration and you're like, oh my god, this is hard. Um I'm jealous of this because when opera singers get together, we can't do this shit. Like, um I was when I was on tour with in the Czech Republic and like, you know, we were it was our final night of the tour and everyone was like getting ready to say goodbye. And, um, so we all sang together. The, the, the problem is, is we were in a hotel in the lobby and it was, uh, loud, <laughs> right? Like, like this is cool, but if I wanted to join in, like I'd wake up the neighborhood. Uh, another fun example was, we, uh, after a production that we did in, in California, we all got together at a pizza joint. It was someone's birthday. So when we had like an entire opera chorus singing happy birthday and no one in the room know what the fuck to do because they were like, I don't understand why they're made. They're so loud. I just like wanted to get pizza here. I'm jealous, but this is, this is awesome. This is so cool. <laughs> 